Hey guys, what's going on? Crypto Marco here, and in this lovely video, we will take a look at the crypto market and the most important news of the day. So the most interesting ones are gonna come first, and then afterwards the less spectacular ones. So if you enjoy the content, as always, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment with your Litecoin address down below because among everybody who's commenting, I am giving away a small amount of enchanted Litecoin. So if you want to participate in the giveaway, all you need to do is just leave a comment with or question, feedback, whatever, with your Litecoin address and you're good to go. So good luck. And now let's get started. So as you can see, today is a bit of a better day for cryptocurrencies. A lot of cryptocurrencies in the green since we have found a kind of resistance level at 200. Actually, I mean support uh, at 250 billion US dollars. So when we hit that right now, it seems like we're bouncing off of it immediately and kind of moving to the side. So right now, as you can see, a lot of money has entered the market again, but you know this bear market could on for could go on for a while so i would not uh say that it is over really enjoy this very carefully as you can see bitcoin dominance is still at 45 percent and not moving a lot and guys as you know i'm a guy who's trying to be really honest and transparent with my viewers so that's the reason why i'm telling you that you know i don't do youtube ads on my videos i do daily giveaways and i put a lot of time into my videos to make them really good quality material and uh, I get an, tons of emails every day of ICOs and coins to promote them on my channel and in order to get at least a, a little part of my investment into the channel back I do paid reviews from time to time and I did a review on Givecoin which is in my opinion a very good looking serious and promising project and now in this video I'm going to show you a little uh, update on Givecoin so as you can see they have sold out their second stage so right now they're in the third stage um, right now you can get a 30 percent bonus and despite the market being really rough right now they're still going through it um and even though you know it, it is some i really enjoyed when an ico is being really transparent even though the market is right now uh really not in the best shape as you can see 20 experts rate give coin with 4.7 and uh something that's really special about Givecoin, in my opinion is just how transparent they are with the investor so you have um support that's very often responding to questions within like five minutes um separate chats for investors in german and english where you can ask them pretty much every question you can think of um, they do live streams from time to time and show behind the scenes of what's going on with the icos and you can even talk to the guys behind the project so that's really cool um and it's a functioning business so they already have a betting site called vital bet they want to use the money from this ico to update it to give it a fresh new look and to purchase new licenses for other countries Twenty thousand active customers they want to give 80 percent of the net profit to the people investing very bold statement but if they think it's worth it they just you know they give more cake to everybody investing but if the cake becomes a lot bigger it's okay for them why not as you can see you can still um, purchase you have minimum amount 0.5 ethereum which is pretty cheap right now there's no maximum amount and you get 30 percent bonus right now on top of that here you can see they have the functioning websites they have esports they have virtual sports they have casinos going on and as you can see most of the ico is being distributed um, in the public ico and a very small amount being done in a private sale and keeping the founders so very decentralized product or uh, project basically and as you can see um, the team wearing gift coin jerseys so super super transparent and that's something that i really like to see that the people are behind the project are not hiding and that's something that really they are not doing so gift coin is not in hiding gift coin is very transparent and that's something that i have to say i really enjoy seeing most interesting thing that i've seen in the past about ethereum is that they want to become asic resistance resistance so in a video a few days ago i said that they were going to be mining resistant but what i actually meant was that they want to become asic resistance as you can see on github there was this proposal that they should should they modify the blockchain to become 
ASIC resistant uh, towards mining and something that I found really amazing is that Telegraph reported in February that Bitmain's profits outstripped this US GPU giant NVIDIA. In 2017, research by Bernstein analyst, analysts estimated Bitmain's profit to be between 3 to 4 billion for 2016 for 2017 holding 70 to 80 percent of the market for bitcoin miners and asic so if you are not aware of what an asic is it's a um it's a computer that is only made for mining cryptocurrencies in bitmain wants you know the problem is that um mining houses such as bitmain and the mining farms um they have a lot of power so of course they they can use their capital to amass a lot of miners and then mine a lot of our beloved cryptocurrencies and then what happens is that the cryptocurrency becomes less and less centralized and this is pretty much what has happened with bitcoin and ethereum right now everybody like the very very early adopters have a lot of bitcoin the exchanges and the miners are the ones with the power and as you can see the community is very very welcome when it comes to um, making Ethereum ASIC proof. So one of the developers, uh, his name was Vlad Zamfir, already made a proposal on Twitter, a little poll, where, which was like more his personal opinion rather than a real proposal. But we already saw there that, there tw that the Twitter community was very much in favor of ASIC resistance. And it's something interesting that Vitalik Buterin um, said a few days ago is that Ethereum should be capped at 120 million and only to say on the next day, for those still wondering whether or not that was an April Fool's joke, the answer is yes, it was an April Fool's meta joke. The point was seeing people argue about whether or not the proposal is real. So um, he says that his proposal, even though it was an April Fool's joke, does have a few um, you know, good points and some um, fixed supply is worth considering arguments with ASICs. Proof of work issuance fails at making coins distribution more egalitarian with proof proof of stake proof of work issuance not needed for security with rewards coming from rent and other burn fees can have reward without issuance. So I'm not sure how to feel about that. That like the pretty much the founder of Ethereum is joking about his own cryptocurrency, even though I'm really somebody who has a lot of humor and I understand a lot of jokes like I'm not sure if this was like really appropriate to do this kind of a joke on April on April 1st. But then again, you know, cryptocurrencies attract people who are not really socially savvy. So why not have a little laugh? Um, then what I really found interesting is that Russia wants to regulate ICOs a bit more. So a new set of regulations for ICOs has been presented by the Russian Ministry of Communications. Companies organizing token sales will be obligated to guarantee that investors can sell back their tokens coin issuers will have to prove they control at least 100 million rubles of authorized capital in a Russian bank account. And of course, this would make it harder for fraudulent projects to f get funded. Businesses taking advantage of crowdfunding through coin offerings must be registered in the Russian Federation and license, licensed to issue cryptocurrencies. In other words, the money they have received should be invested as promised during the sale. The compliance with these obligations will be monitored by companies contracted by the ministry, so by the state, so to say. The decree has been criticized by representatives of the crypto sector for not covering some important aspects related to ICOs. The document does not say anything about pre-sales that gives investors an opportunity to buy tokens at discounted rates. So as you can see, about 17% of the ICOs were done in Eastern Europe and have attracted 22% of the funds raised and it seems that you know um in here people say uh, they say that um it might be uh, it might favor you know um countries with other jurisdiction because as i said earlier this you know it does not really make the issuing of icos really a lot easier so i think that in the future for example, Malta and Switzerland and Austria are really setting up to be great countries to do ICOs. And um, I'm not sure if this will really help to, um, to track more ICOs to Russia. 
Next up, we have SEC halts Mayweather endorsed ICO, charges founders with fraud, so it's called Central Tech. And while the ICO startup claimed the funds would go towards developing financial products backed by Visa and MasterCard, the SEC said Centra had no relationship with either payment card network. The agency further stated that Sharma and Farkas created false marketing material, including fictional executives. Wow. Now, as you can see, it's really important when you back up on ICO to do your due diligence and really know what you're talking about. I am, in my opinion, I'm not blaming uh, Floyd Mayweather because, um, you know, on one hand, like I can understand that he wants to like uh, promote a cryptocurrency and uh, make more money, even though he has more than enough. But on the other hand, uh, he probably didn't have like a bad intent, but on the other hand, um, he couldn't know what was going on behind the scenes. As we allege, the defendants relied heavily on celebrity endorsement and social media to market their scheme. Endorsements and glossy marketing material are no substitute for the SEC registration and disclosure requirements, as well as diligence by the investors. So always be very careful when investing in ICOs and don't forget to do your due diligence. Then a entertaining article I found here. So Ernie, a shop assisting app, conducted a research with over 100 million purchases. And uh, it came out that in Nevada, the Ledger Nano S was the most bought thing. So as you can see right here, with the, this is Nirvana. So iPhone X screen protection. And right there we have Ledger Nano Cryptoware hardware wallet. So great thing to see people in the US spend spent their money on something that actually makes sense. Next up, we have John McAfee. So if you're not familiar with John McAfee, he's right now one of the most influential people in cryptocurrencies and allegedly the price for a tweet on his account is 105K, so quite a lot. And as you have seen, probably his power is insane what he can do with one tweet. Um, he did, did open an agency for ICO, so helping them with legal stuff, marketing, and so on. And he even had to do to uh, institute a 750 registration fee because there were so many ICOs applying to him. But what I really like about John McAfee is that he, um, while 200 were lined up, they rejected 195 and only five made it through. So he really does say, I only promote what I believe. So, and it's pretty much the same what I do. I'm really very careful when promoting this. A little April Fool's joke that was done by um, coin market cap measuring cryptocurrencies in Lambo. So yeah, that was funny. In any case, let's get to the giveaway and see who has won the last, who will be the winner of the last video. We have 44 comments. Not bad, even though it doesn't have that many views. Wow. How did that happen? Winner is, I won't try to pronounce this name because I'll probably fail. You're making very informative video. Thanks. And thank you for participating in this giveaway. So I will send you two enchanted dollars in the form of Litecoin. So congratulations on your win. And guys, thank you very much for almost 6,000 subscribers. If you enjoy the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep in mind that you should invest responsibly, do your own due diligence. And as always, this is my personal opinion and not financial advice. So take care. See you next time. Bye bye.